Heard from UH quarterback Brian Moniz tonight. He says surgery on his right ankle this afternoon, the one he broke in Saturday's game at Nevada, went very well, according to his doctors. So well, in fact, he's already back home. Recovery anywhere between six to eight weeks. On his Facebook page today, Mighty Mo sent out some aloha to all his well-wishers. Never thought my UH career would end like this, he says. Moniz says he wishes he could strap it up with his teammates and, quote, it's been a true honor to represent Hawaii, end quote. People can say what they want to say, but these guys fought, they really fought on this ball game against extreme odds. We lost, and I told them afterwards, you don't have any reason to hang your head because you, you fought your, as hard as you could fight. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. UH head football coach Greg McMackin today on the effort of his team in Saturday's 42-28 road loss to the Wolfpack. Especially, he says, seeing Moniz being carried off and carted off the field with that broken ankle, essentially ending his career as a Warriors signal caller. Mo's the eighth starter on offense to miss action due to injury. Well, Bryant Moniz was our best football player. Uh, he made the offense go. He's a great football player. You know, people don't realize all the things that he did uh, and, and the respect he had from this football team. All these guys that are hurt, it, it, it brings chicken skin to me because I really feel bad for them. Uh, not really the team because the team, football, the next guy has to stand up and, and they're doing that. Uh, but I feel bad what they have to go through. It just complicates guys' lives, which, which really bothers me. It really makes me feel bad because they're such great kids, you know. Warriors host Fresno State this Saturday. Bulldogs defensive coordinator Randy Stewart resigned today. So strike up the competition. Coach Max says senior Shane Austin will battle for the starting quarterback's job. He's a guy that replaced Moniz on Saturday, along with sophomore David Graves. They'll both get equal reps this week to see who gets the start. Final decision will probably be made on game day. 26-1 Rainbow Wahine volleyball team riding a 21-match win streak after sweeping Louisiana Tech and New Mexico State over the weekend. Stayed put in this week's national rankings release today at number six in the country. USC back at number one this week, followed by UCLA, Cal, Nebraska, and Stanford. Next for the Rainbow Wahine, the WAC tournament in Las Vegas starting November 22nd.